Hello Muggles and welcome to the first episode in my brand new web series, My Harry Potter Kitchen. As you can probably tell by my setup, I am a massive, massive fan of the series and what better excuse to reread them again than by creating a recipe for every food and drink item featured inside. It's going to be a long journey but I can't wait to get started, so let's go! Each and every Magic Monday, I'll be bringing you a brand new episode featuring a new recipe from the book. So if you want to catch them, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All great stories start somewhere, so let's get into chapter one. Right, so on page two, Mr. Dursley is getting ready for work and I think we've found our first recipe. He's pecked Mrs. Dursley on the cheek and tried to kiss Dudley goodbye but missed because Dudley was now having a tantrum and throwing his cereal at the walls. Didn't think we'd be making cereal as the first recipe for this new series, but let's go do it. For this recipe, you will need 30 grams of butter, 60 grams of white marshmallows, 125 grams of your favorite cereal, but try to go for something nice and small like Cocoa Pops or Rice Krispies, 50 grams of milk chocolate, 100 grams of white candy melts, and 300 milliliters of milk. Now, as fun as it would be to create just a bowl of cereal, I thought we'd do something a bit more magical here and actually create the bowl out of cereal. The trick is going to be trying to get it solid enough that we can pour milk into it and it not go everywhere. Q fail cam. <laughs> no. But of course we wouldn't be bringing you this episode if we didn't find a way to do it. So, here's how it's done. Okay, to begin, you'll need to melt your butter and your marshmallows in a bowl over simmering water until it's nice and smooth. Keep on stirring for about three to five minutes, and once it's completed, take it off the hob and put it to the side to cool slightly. While it's cooling, measure out your cereal into another bowl and then pour your marshmallow mixture over the top, stirring it through until it's nice and evenly coated. Okay, next you need to move quite quickly before it starts to set, but you want to get yourself a small bowl and then line it with some cling film before pressing the marshmallow Cocoa Pops mixture inside. Start around the side, working your way to get a nice even layer and then fill the bottom in. Press it down to try to remove as many of the gaps as possible, and once you're happy, pop it in the fridge to chill for 15 to 20 minutes. Now while your cereal bowl is chilling, I'm going to show you the trick to make sure your milk doesn't spill. You want to melt down some more chocolate in a bowl over simmering water until it's nice and smooth and then get your cereal bowl out of the fridge and paint the inside of it with your melted chocolate. Now don't risk it like I did and only do one coat because it will end badly for everyone involved so make sure you do at least two to three coats to get a nice thick layer of chocolate that's going to protect it from that milk. The best thing to do here is paint a coat of your melted chocolate, pop it into the freezer quickly to flash freeze it, take it out, do another coat, back in the freezer. Three is the magic number, so give it one final coat and then finish it off in the chiller. Now to give this a nice 3D milk splash effect, I'm gonna create some splashes with white candy melts. Now the reason we use white candy melts rather than just white chocolate is it's got a different sugar to fat ratio, which means it's a lot sturdier and isn't going to collapse. We're going to melt down our white candy melt in the same way we did with our chocolate in a bowl over simmering water and once it's nice and smooth we're going to pop it into a piping bag. If you want to know how I make these disposable piping bags let me know down in the comments and I'll do a full tutorial of that later. Working quite quickly before it sets, pipe out some splash shapes over some baking paper and what you need to do here is do two sides for each splash so you get the reverse as well and then when we stick them together it will be a nice 3D shape. Pop those into the fridge to set quickly for 10 to 15 minutes and then it's time to assemble. Using a little bit more of your white candy melts, put a few drops into the bottom of your bowl and then stick them in. This bit's a little bit fiddly as you do need to hold it in place but it sets really really quickly so after 5 to 10 seconds you should be able to move on to your next splash. To give this one a real 3D effect with some dripping milk as well, I finished it off with a little more drizzle of our white candy melts over the top. And now for the moment of truth, get yourself your milk and slowly pour it into your bowl. If you've done it right and your chocolate was thick enough, it will hold its shape. If you haven't, start again, it's ruined, I'm sorry. 
Once your bowl is full, you can also sprinkle on top a bit more cereal just to give it a life life effect. And you're done! Our magical, gravity defying, edible cereal bowl is complete. Suck in, Dudley. So there you have it, a super fun recipe that is great to make with the kids. So if you try it out, let me know how it turns out and send in your pictures on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. That is all for the first episode, but make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you next Monday for another recipe from my Harry Potter kitchen. See ya!